Chris Orsini here, and today I'm going to talk about how to correct a signed document that you uh, you receive in DocuSign. Now, if you haven't already, I have videos for how to set up your DocuSign account and how to use DocuSign with command. Uh, so go watch those videos uh, if you haven't, and because I'm not going to be going through all those details in this video. So in this case, I get this signed document back here. I sent out the KW addendum to the listing agreement. This is the original form, and I received this signed PDF. Now I'm going to go review this PDF, and let's assume that in this case, uh, I wrote in uh, 123 uh, Main Street. Maybe it was supposed to be 124 Main Street. So what do I do? I've got two options. One is I can go into the original form and change the data in that original form. So I'll click on, I clicked on the original KW addendum to the listing agreement form, and I can just go edit those fields the same way I came in and put the data in to begin with. So I can change that, save and close, put this in an envelope, send it out again, and have that signed. I'm not going to go through the envelope process that's um, explained in the other video, um, but I will go through it in the option number two. So option number two is actually marking up the original or the PDF that was returned to you. So to do so, we're going to go to envelopes, and this is the original envelope I sent out. And so I'm going to create a new envelope. I'm going to call this KW addendum to the listing agreement correction and then click room docs to add the document you'll notice here's the PDF it says KW addendum to the listing agreement dash signed I'm going to select that one and just a quick note you can tell the difference easily between a form and a PDF because of these icons and I'm going to add selected now here's where things start to get a little bit different. When we use forms, we always want to use pre-tagged roles, but when I click Add Recipient here, you'll notice there is no option for pre-tagged roles. That's because when a PDF comes back as signed, it is just a PDF. It's not a smart form or um, it has no fields, no tagging. It's just a PDF. So we're going to put email address, and I'll just put myself in here. And I'm going to add just another recipient. Um, just to sh for example's sake. And you can put in your email message. And I'm going to go next to the signature editor. Um, if you've seen my other videos, you should be fairly familiar with the signature editor. But what we're going to be doing now is marking up this document. So we'll need to go in and we'll take we'll go into this markup tools here on the um, in the fields column. So I'll click markup tools and then we can put a line. So I'm going to take this line and we want to click where we want the line to begin and then click where we want the line to end. And now we have this cross out. And we then want to take a text box and input the data that we want to replace it with. So I'm going to put here 124 Main Street. Now, there's a couple more things we need to do to this field. We need to first make it read only so that it can't be edited after it's sent out. And then you'll notice we do have two recipients. And this is yellow, meaning it's only going to be in view for the one recipient. So in order to get both recipients to view it, we need to go down to this collaboration drop down here on the right. We'll click that. We need to click recipients can collaborate. And then we get some more options. We need to make this a required field for all signers. So this way, all the signers will see this field. We've, it's still read only, so nobody can go edit it. Then we'll want to put in our initial fields. And I'll do it for both recipients. And we can always resize them to fit the document a little better. Now, at this point, we would just send it out. It's going to go out and come back as the same name as it went out with the word 
dash signed at the end of it. So what's interesting with these is it does come back as, let's see, since this document is called KW Addendum to Listing Agreement dash signed, when it comes back, it will be called KW Addendum to Listing Agreement dash signed dash signed. Um, so something you will want to do is make sure to archive the documents that uh, that are incorrect. And I'll show you how to do that really quick. Go over to Documents. And we can either uh, right-click on a document and choose to archive it right here at the bottom. Or if we have multiple documents that we want to archive, we can click this little circle that appears on the document or form when we mouse over it. And that way we can multi-select and click the archive button and they will be archived. Now say you accidentally archive something and you need to get it back. We have this drop down right now it's showing only active listings. We can go to archived documents, um, sorry active documents not uh, listings, and select what we want to bring back and unarchive. I hope this has been helpful. Feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions or see Chris at kw.com or you can comment on this video. If you'd like to see more, uh, check out my YouTube channel, subscribe, uh, check me out on KW Connect and follow or head over to Facebook and look, me, look up my page, uh, Chris Orsini, KW Tech Trainer.